Hello, my name is Alex Perot, and today I'm going to be taking you through the Connexial application on an iOS device. Logging into the Connexial application on iOS, your username should be your email or your driver ID. Your password will be given to you by your admin. Once you log in, you'll be presented with your home screen, which will be your beginning of the day workflow. Across the top, you can find shortcuts to quickly update information. In order to change this, just scroll all the way over to the right, click the plus button, and drag and drop these to make changes as needed. Across the bottom of the screen, you'll find your main screen, which is the hours of service. You'll find the drive screen containing your maps and navigation, and then the load screen containing any loads you're currently executing, all dispatch loads, and any historical loads. In order to activate exceptions, just hit on the exceptions button and activate any exceptions that you may need to based on your company's policies. To start your workday, you'll click the Start Workday button. That will take you into your truck selection. You can select from your most recently used vehicles, or you can click Other to select from the truck that you are assigned to. Next, you'll be presented with any trailers that you may be hauling. Clicking Yes will take you to a list to select from the list of available trailers. After doing that, you can confirm if there's any more trailers, I'm going to click no more trailers there, and then you'll be presented with the option to perform your pre-DVIR pre-trip. This should be based on your company's policies, but in this case, I am going to click yes here. On the pre-trip screen, you'll be presented with any existing defects assigned to the truck. In order to add a defect, you'll be presented with the list. You can select from the list, select the specific area that the defect is occurring and then you can mark this as a major a minor and then any additional photos can be added with the photo screen here all photos will be saved to the back end for your admin team to review once you click save and you're completed with your pre-trip you can mark inspection completed which at that point in time will take you into adding any load details to your trip Clicking yes will allow you to select from a list of dispatch loads or create a new load. So clicking add new load will allow me to again select or add from dispatch loads. I'm going to select this top one because that is the load that I am executing today. And then you go into continue trip creation to present it, be presented with your next screen. Confirming all the information is correct. You can click yes, this is correct. If something is incorrect, you can click report an issue to correct any defects, any loads, or the odometer if necessary. Yes, this is correct. And then you are presented with your screen and you can make the decision on what to do next. In order to update your rods or review your rods, you can scroll down on the home screen and click view rods, or you can use the shortcut button across the top. By clicking on that, you'll be presented with the current, the day's current logs. You can navigate between different days by clicking the arrows or clicking on the date and selecting the date that's required. Along the bottom, you can certify previous day's records by clicking the certify records as needed. In order to make any changes to your rods, select on the time frame that is incorrect and in this case, I will be switching from on duty to off duty time. So I'm going to update this to on duty, confirm what I was doing at that time, and then update the start time to the corresponding time that I was on duty that day. When I click done and click save, that will update my on duty and my off duty status accordingly and will immediately update my rods as needed. In order to see additional data, such as your recap hours or a summary of the past 14 days, you can click recap. That will show you the current day and any previous days driving, off duty time, on duty time as necessary. Your recap hours will be displayed across the top 
if they are available. In order to see the PDF version of your daily log, you can click the daily log button across the top and view that as needed. That can be exported and saved by clicking the square with the arrow and you can save that to your files. In order to review the load you are delivering or update any information or add any documents, you can use the loads button across along the bottom, or you can use the load details button available on your home screen. In order to add a document, you can click the center of that screen and click the plus button next under shipping doc images to upload any proof of delivery, bill of ladings, or any other images as needed. In order to update the status of the load, you can click the status button, which will allow you to mark yourself as arrived, departed, or en route to a specific stop on that load. In order to add any notes, you can click the notes button, which will allow you to add comments that will be shared to your admin as needed. In order to see historical loads, you can use the loads button across the bottom and click the history button. Now we'll show you any loads that you have previously delivered. In order to use navigational tools within the application, you can click the drive button, which will take you to a map to select from either a list of predefined locations, including truck stops, restaurants, rest stops, and fuel spots. By clicking on any of these options, you will be presented with local establishments in order to navigate to those establishments, you can click on the circle on the map and click get truck route to be presented with turn by turn directions there. The other option is to use the search a place function and enter an address or pick from a list of predefined addresses. This will again present you with the truck route option, which will give you turn by turn directions to that spot. When you are ready to start driving, all you have to do is start driving your truck. However, if you want to easily see your hours of service clocks, you can swipe up on the screen to be presented with your current duty status, any time left over on your 70 hour cycle, your 14 hour cycle, or your 11 hour daily cycle. Once the truck starts moving, the system will automatically switch your status to a driving status. And at that point in time, you will not have to touch your phone any longer. Once your truck has fully come to a stop and you're ready to switch your status into an on-duty, off-duty, or take a rest break, you can either swipe down on the screen and click take a break, or you can click on the word driving to be presented with your options. By clicking on duty, you can add an additional annotation that will be displayed in the main application for your admin. And at that point, your clocks will be set back to that current status, but reflect the driving time that you had already done. In the case of a roadside inspection, you can click on the top of the screen to pull it down, click on the roadside inspection option, and then select based on what you need to do. So FMCSA upload will take you to enter the case number from the officer. Once you enter that, you will be presented with the upload button, which is where that will upload your records to that officer's case files, and you will not have to do anything after that point. When your workday is over, you can swipe down on your main menu, click the end workday option. That will present you again with your post DVIR options. So you can confirm any defects that are still there. You can add additional or you can mark inspection completed. That will present you with the screen to confirm the start and end odometer, your start and end time, and any distance you traveled. If this is incorrect in any way, click report an issue to update the corresponding incorrect data. If it is all correct, you can click yes, this is correct. And then you'll be presented with the option to certify the day's current rods. By clicking view rods, you will be presented with your actual graph. Again, from here, you can click your recap or go to the PDF version. By clicking certify records, those rods will be certified for the day. 
We would like to highlight some additional features available within the Connect Seal application. In order to activate any exceptions, by clicking the exceptions shortcut up at the top, or by clicking the off-duty, on-duty, or driving word, you can activate any exceptions that your company allows. Something like the agriculture exception or the agriculture livestock exception will require you to set a circle on your map. By clicking activate, you'll be presented with the map to select your load origin. You can either click yes to set your current location or you can click no, select manually to enter an address or drag to a new address. When clicking use this location, that will mark whether you are in or out of that circle and update your status accordingly. UDRs or unidentified driving records will be presented to a driver if the truck has been in motion without being assigned to a driver. You may see this pop up when you are starting your workday, when you are starting a trip, or when you are ending a trip. In order to accept the UDRs, you click on the appropriate ones, you can click select all, and then you click assign to driver. If these UDRs do not apply to you, you can click assign to carrier to send them back to your admin to manage them accordingly. Last thing we want to mention, if you forget your password upon login, you can click the forgot password button. This will present you with an option to enter your email that is assigned to your account. By entering your email here, you will receive an email with instructions to reset your password to be able to log into the Connexial application. Thank you for taking the time to review the Connexial application on an iOS device. If you have any further questions, please go to connexial.com or email sales at connexial.com for more information.